What's up, people? It's King Dub the Seventh, and I already did my Kingdom Hearts uh, gameplay breakdown. So now it's time to do my Battlefront gameplay breakdown. So the thing about this, though, is that I want to share. I want to really cover E3 as a whole, but EA didn't show nothing else that I really wanted to see. I don't care about Madden. I don't care about Need for Speed. I don't care about uh. It's another game that they show. I do care about Anthem, but I didn't get anything to, like, they just showed a snippet. They just showed a suit, a battle, a battle, I can't talk, a battle suit. Like, there was really nothing to see there. And then there's another game that they showed. Well, I obviously don't care about it because I don't remember it. And then they didn't really show, like, they didn't show Skate 4. They didn't show a new, uh, Fight Night. They didn't show any other games that I wanted to see. That I would have cared about. Only game that they showed that I would kind of care about is Battlefront. Although I didn't play Battlefront 1. Because for what I saw there was a lot missing that I wanted in the game. And I wasn't going to spend $60 for that game. But I'm hoping that Battlefront 2 kind of, you know, uh, filled the void in terms of what Battlefront 1 was missing. So let's look at this gameplay trailer and see. Let me turn this down, make sure because I don't want to get drowned out by the trailer if I end up talking during the trailer. Alright. So, so right now we're seeing different classes, you see heavy classes. You see that, uh, I forget, uh, R2 robots, I believe they're called. I see some, uh, air to air combat. You know, I was just about to say, they were doing a Darth Maul, uh, they were doing like the remix of the Darth Maul theme where you hear from when he fights, uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. So I already figured they'd show him in this trailer. But there's something else. Let me just rewind it back. We got we we're gonna wait a little bit to see. I like the environment. I really like the way the environment is looking right now. Uh some of the trees, I don't like some of the textures for the trees. Some of like the leaves and stuff just look out of place. Sector is clear. Not clear, not clear. <laughs> not clear, not clear. Don't come! Ooh. That uh, that Darth Maul is looking pretty damn strong. We got the uh jump troopers. Uh, chew, chewy, destructible environments. Which you like? That's the thing that you just expect to see in dice first person shooters. Kylo Ren and I forget her name. Ray? Is it Ray? I think it's Ray. You saw that get early beta access in the top right. So your next assignments, they are hmm. unusual. So I'm hoping that what we just saw was a part of a single player that is coming to Battlefront 2 because as far as I know Battlefront 1 didn't have a single player so I don't really care about this elite trooper uh, edition whatever but that gameplay trailer it looked pretty good it looked like a pretty good summary of what we're expecting to see but I got another treat for everybody right we are going to look at some at CC's, get the party stuffed right not or I didn't want to look at uh, Pizza Hut. I think this is. This is not what I want to see. I've never heard of this place. Anyway, the special treat that I had was this full multiplayer game. So. Things that I'm looking out for in this live multiplayer gameplay. 
one, I want to make sure that the uh, online fighting is still smooth. That's one. Two, I want to make sure the air to air combat is still good. Ooh, anti air, uh, anti air tanks. I think that oh three. I want to see how the uh, how the heroes like uh, right now we're seeing Ray. I think her name is. I want to see how that how well the heroes play. Hmm. All right. It seemed like he's struggling to track in the air, but he's doing fine tracking the air. So I don't know if that guy was just bad who we were looking at trying to track in the air before, or if like the mechanics are very hard to use. Like the the tracking and uh, air to air combat mechanics, he just took out that tank relatively easily. It seemed like though. And it seems to be like a support class. He has a turret. I don't know what that is. Was in uh. So let me stop this right now, actually, because one thing that I do like right now, I like the way the HUD is looking, and I like the way the like the motion sensor slash map that we see on the bottom left is looking. So. We got your objective on the top, we got your uh, radar on the left, you got your uh, health in the middle bottom, and you have three abilities in the bottom right. That looks pretty simple, pretty easy to follow, pretty easy to use. Seems like the switch in between first and third person. Doesn't seem like it takes too many shots to kill uh, someone. Doesn't take like. Doesn't seem like you die too fast. All right. We hold back those droids long enough. We can get reinforcements. I'm assigning coordinates. Guard your positions. Some Darth Maul gameplay. Let's go. Something challenge. Ooh, he got his little. He got a spin attack. It seems like. That spin attack seems like it'll be good for not just engaging and uh, gap closing in a fight, but it also seems like it'll be good in getting away. This motion sensor also... Or this, I guess, I shouldn't just call it a motion sensor. I guess more of a threat detector in your radar. It reminds me a lot of uh, what Destiny has. Jump Trooper just got destroyed. I hate the way that explosion looked. Like for an RPG, I expected a much bigger explosion than that. And the uh, the B2 seemed like he was just spamming out. Oh my God, Jesus! The B2 seemed like it was just spamming out artillery, just firing on people. Wow, he just walked straight up on them. Oh, oh, Dark Maul, Dark Maul, don't do it to him. What in the heck? Did he just force choke him and throw him? Ah, uh, you got the, uh, the commander. I just think you saw get body with, like, the suit and the hat on. B2 wrist rocket. B2 seems pretty strong. Alright, I guess that was it. So, I would love to get people's opinions on what they thought of the uh, the the E3 trailer and then the gameplay. Did you find it interesting? Do you think that you're going to end up getting Battlefront 2 and enjoying it? Please comment your answers in the comment section, of course. Hit that thumbs up button. Let's uh, get at least two thumbs up, man. And subscri subscribe to the channel. I can't talk for some reason. But because I can't talk, I'm going to go get something to eat. Then, yeah. It's King Dub signing off. Peace.